I come from a small town where the words on the street were reserved for playing hockey. You know, not living. I never even saw a real life homeless person in my teens, or even someone really down their luck, you know, banging on the corner for a couple of bucks. You know, where I come from, really poor people are almost fictional creatures like dragons or Santa Claus or gay people. <laughs> So when I visited the downtown streets of the big city for the first time and saw my first tattered beggar shaking at Tim Horton's cup, you know, just sitting on the sidewalk with a look of loneliness and despair on his face, you know, of course I was moved, of course I felt pity because I am nice and I am good and I care about people. And I don't remember if I put any money in his cup. I don't think I did. You know, wasn't it enough just to pity him? You know, to be on his side and to hope he gets on his feet soon, right? But wouldn't you know it, on the next block, there was another bum asking for a handout, just like the first one. And then another, and then another, and then another. You know, the big city was full of them like a plague of hungry rats. And I think that's when I had my epiphany. I didn't have enough money to give some to everyone, so clearly the best solution is not to give money to anyone. You know, flawless logic. It's better to be fair to everyone, right? Yeah. You know, I used to think and act like that for years every time I visited the big city. Or increasingly every city. In you know, my overanalyzing mind, something I'd always considered my greatest asset, was an enemy to the creation of a better world. You know, my brain stopped my heart from putting goodness into action. But the planet rotates, things progress, life changes. And somewhere along the line, my heart finally worked up the courage to tell my brain to shut the hell up! Look, brain. Do you remember that time we saw that kid that needed our help? He looked like you could use a good hot meal, right? I put my hand into our pocket to grab that 20 as we approached him. But then you thought, no, 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 wait, wait, a 20? That's too much. So you put our other hand into our other pocket to find a 5. But when you found it, Instead of taking that five out and putting it into his cup, you thought, no, no, wait, wait. I think we might have some coins in our jacket. We'll give him those instead. Now that'll be enough. But by the time our fingers finally fished out those coins, we had already walked past them. And you, no, and we were too embarrassed to go back. And so we continued on, trying to forget what we just did. Why the hell didn't you give him that damn 20? We have enough of everything. And he didn't. Yeah. Next time, brain, act. Don't think. And with more action and less thought, someday, maybe, there won't be a next time.